We work with a lot of farm animals on this show. Cows, pigs, sheep, goats, horses, but we've never been able to do something like this. So we got up bright and early this morning to see how the Woodland Park Zoo uses Washington-grown produce to feed their animals. To start the day, I'm in the commissary kitchen with Alicia. You're kind of a full-time chef, aren't you? A little bit, yeah, I try. <laughs> Today, I get the opportunity to prepare salad for bug and waterfowl exhibits. No dressing for the animals. Why is it important for the animals to have produce so good? I think a big part of it is our standards through the uh, American Zoo Association, the AZA. It's definitely really important to keep these diets to the correct amounts because they've been carefully considered by the zookeepers when they send us this information and it's all curated between them and the veterinary team to make sure the animals are like peak optimal health, they're go not going to be like gaining any unnecessary weight that they don't need. It's basically if you wouldn't need it, the animals should need okay. it, you know? And this is a daily affair, right? Yes, every single day. 365, no matter what. <laughs> no matter what. It doesn't matter. They have to eat. <laughs> yes, they got to eat. Roman Buck helps keep the animals fed here at the Woodland Park Zoo. And the zoo uses a ton of produce from local farms right here in Western Washington. It seems like Washington would be a really good state to have a zoo because we grow so many products here within the state. Absolutely, like the animals get the best quality produce. A big one that we work with is Sound Sustainable Farms, which is actually local, but then we can also compost those items and recycle that and bring it back into the zoo as zoo do. So if you want good house plants, <laughs> get some zoo do. Absolutely, it's the best you can get. <laughs> So now we begin our food deliveries, starting with the giraffes. I've seen Jurassic Park, so I know what happens next. <laughs> and again, your job is just to deliver, but the keepers are the ones that take care of feeding everybody. Yes, yeah, correct. Gotcha. We find it. Oh yeah, look, there is. They know. They know it's breakfast. That's either Olivia or Tufani, I'm not sure. One of the females. What, you don't know? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I should though. <laughs> Once we finish with the giraffes, it's time to grab some breakfast for the rhinos. This looks like a fresh basket for me. I mean, yeah. look at that. The rhinos aren't doing half bad. No, I know. <laughs> Eat both than I do. And now for the part I've been waiting for all morning. I get to hand feed one of the rhinos. This is Glenn. There you go, buddy. There you go. Now, how big is this animal? How heavy? He is almost 4,000 pounds, um, but he's going to get up to about 6,000 pounds. So Holy he's. Holy moly. Yeah, he's a big boy. So, there you go. 6,000 pound animal, and all they eat is this. They are herbivores, yes. So they eat produce, romaine, apples, carrots, yams, but they also eat a lot of hay. You don't get to do this every day. <laughs> We're just gonna be very mindful of our fingers because he does not yet have his, all of his teeth. Oh, yeah. Look but you that. can see little, <laughs> little nubs right there. So just be mindful and kind of feed like a French fry. You might get a little slobbery, but. <laughs> That's all right. No salad dressing needed, see? Just lettuce. So what would a rhino in the wild like this be eating on a, on a daily basis? So they're constantly um, kind of, it's called foraging. So they're just, like I said, browsing, using that lip to pull in leaves and shoots. They're just eating a lot of plants. Eating <laughs> and, a lot of plants. Mm -hmm. And he'll just eat all day if you let him. <laughs> <laughs> right. There he goes, trying to get more snacks. Massive, just massive <laughs> Yeah. I don't have any more lettuce, pal, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who knew on Washington Grown you'd get to feed a rhino? I mean, come on. <laughs>